Welcome, everybody, to the month of February. We are practicing self-love. And for this reading, we are looking at what self-love we can give ourselves as far as healing goes. So what I did was I pulled one of the uh, self-care wisdom cards to kind of guide us in what direction, what needs healing. Um, then I looked at the soul's journey lesson cards deck and then the um, original tarot deck. So what I did is I separated it into the elements, fire, we have earth, we have air, we have water. And I want you to look at either your sun sign or your moon sign. Either one may resonate. Um, you never know if it's just more internal versus external. So take a look at the moon sign, take a look at the sun sign, see what resonates. Um, it might not be something that, because it's the beginning of the month, it might not be something that resonates right now, but maybe something that you can look back on and go, oh, I get it now. So again, these are just tools that we use to really help us tune into our own intuition where all the answers are, um, which you can just tap into through meditation. But we are also in this earth plane of this existence, um, playing the game of life. And sometimes we use these tools um, to help us to help validate um, and sometimes just to help you guys see things that maybe you wouldn't be so open to seeing if it wasn't the case. So with that said, go ahead and go to the marked place that has either the fire, the water, the air, or the earth signs for you. And I hope to see you later at our next event. All right, fire signs. So fire signs, very explosive, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, usually not knowing what to do with that energy, always having to stay busy. And the card that I got for February was calm. It says a breakdown is often followed by a breakthrough. Remain calm. Isn't that the truth? Um, so usually kind of like fire, right? Think of the element itself once it starts to spread. It just, it's uncontrollable. It keeps on going and going and usually fueled by air. So here we have an opportunity to not continue to think the same thoughts that are fueling our fire to spread. So think calm waters, think, um, think just being still like a candle that, you know, when it, when it stays lit, it just stays going one way. It's not, the wind is not carrying it here and there, the wind being the air, being the mind. So we don't have thoughts taking us from here and there. It's just stillness, which it's a good tip, by the way, to just stare at a candle for a little bit and then close your eyes. Cause that really helps stimulate um, the single eye. So remain calm. Now, the lesson here is to obtain happiness, to understand what true happiness is from an authentic way, says I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So this is screaming GPS system. Um, our GPS internal system is usually guided by our emotions. And so when we are feeling down, we are usually in the wrong path towards our destination. If we were on the right path, everything would be in alignment which means you would feel um, excited, happy. So this is, happiness is really just um, one of, because obviously there's duality, but one of the ways that our internal GPS is telling us if we're going in the right way. Now, the King of Pentacles, um, upside down, always um, when I'm asking these questions about what is it that they need most for healing, um, usually I'm going to get a card that's upside down, letting me know that this is what you need to overcome. That's how I look at it. So I got the king of pentacles, which upside down is really like feeling stubborn or maybe obsessed with money. Um, 
versus feeling comfortable with it. So there's something with money there that has been either overspending or just not on track, not really in alignment with where you want to be or where you see yourself meaning that these small actions that are taken on a daily um, can lead towards the opposite end of where you really want to be. So for example, let's say you have a, um, what does your rich life look like? Um, so the, my rich life looks like no debt. It looks like traveling when I want to without worrying about the cost or um, things like that. It means um, just feeling that calm, peace, happiness feeling, right? So if I'm constantly aware of the past and taking a look at what has been and I continue to spend my small things here and there because they add up, right? Am I ever going to reach to the destination that I want or am I going to continue the loop? So this is saying, okay, in order for that happiness to be fulfilled, in order for you to really start walking the walk towards the destination that you're trying to go to, you need to remain calm right now. As in February should be not a time of let me spread my fire with all these thoughts. It should be let me have this self-love, this self-calmness, this like um, way of balancing my emotions and my thoughts in order for me to get to my destination, if that makes any sense. So let um, me see if there's anything else. Remain calm, happiness, and just look at your finances as well. Just become aware of your spending habits. Um, so this is for the fire signs. All right, earth signs, you are next. Um, as far as self-care and healing, what is it that we are looking for for you to begin in order to start healing? Um, here it says self-worth, elevate, elevate your self-worth. You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. So when I say raise your standards, I mean Put in more of that, fill your cup with self-worth, with I'm enough, I deserve this, I am um, just filling that cup of I am enough, earth. Um, I feel like you guys are putting too much on your shoulders and having to carry the world on your back and therefore feeling like um, heavy, drained is what I'm feeling. Um, blame. So the lesson is not to blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. All right. So this is more of maybe shifting the blame of this is happening to me and being upset versus I created this. This is happening to me for my best interest. Not to me, but for me. I'm sorry. And it's attached to these self-worth draining feelings, this energy of, oh, you know, and that energy tends to kind of live in victim mentality. So what we're doing is we're shifting the blame, looking in the mirror and recognizing that we are the ones responsible to create our reality. Therefore, things are not happening to you. They are happening for you, for your best interest, or because you are attracting that energy because you are in this place of, I don't deserve to be happy. I don't deserve things to go well and, and smooth for me. Things always go wrong. So it's that negative self-talk that we are always hearing in our mind if we're staying in that lower conscious um, area. So the reason here, I'm getting page of pentacles. So there's some finance there. There's some procrastination, some um, maybe some lack of progress. So I'm feeling I want it to be here, but I'm not making any progress. I'm going around and around and I'm not really getting to where I want to. So kind of, I had this with fire um, kind, and still with finances, it's kind of like there's certain things that we have said to ourselves throughout the years and I'm feeling this earth, uh, sticky mud type feeling where you, it's hard to get out of the mud. And the longer that you stay in there, 
the harder it gets and solidifies to the point where you feel like you can't move, like you're stagnant, like you're just seeing the world um, do its thing and go by and go by, but you're, you're really in the same place. Um, so you don't feel like you're in alignment because you're not going in the direction that your heart desires. So in this case, the way to begin this whole healing journey is to shift the blame and not blame you know, okay, let me be straight. So this morning I had this download and I was like, why did I get this information? So I'm feeling like it has to do with this because this is, let me just say this in case somebody is needing to hear it. A lot of times we grow up conditioned to believe that God is doing things either for us or to us. There's this duality of oh, I'm blessed, I'm getting these things, great. But then when something bad happens, and really bad, there's even to that point of getting angry with God and getting angry and, and pointing the finger of, why did you do this to me? Why did you let this happen type deal? Um, when that's not even the case. But I feel like a lot of us grow up in our childhood specifically feeling that way. And that's a burden that we're still carrying that needs to be dissolved because God doesn't do anything. God is within us and it's light and goodness and energy and power and all that is and is unconditional. And still, even after we are upset with this thing called God, um, the universe, light, um, we still shift that blame as if it's happening to you as a punishment because you're not worthy of such and such. And that's where that whole self-worth comes in, where we, as children, I don't know, it's going back and back as inner child healing, but as children, um, we're always needing that validation and feeling as if throughout the rest of our lives, we are trying to prove that we are loved, trying to prove that we are heard, trying to prove that we are good enough. And just like that mud and being stuck in it over time, it hardens and we harden our hearts and believe that everything's happening to us, if that makes any sense. So basically, um, let's help heal this whole self-worth thing. Um, pour into the cup of I am worthy, I am enough. Even if you're just saying that every day, I'm enough. Um, and then let's stop shifting the blame. Let's just be creators of our lives. And this whole procrastination thing and progress towards whatever it is um, will then start to take um, a momentum once it starts to shift. So Earth Signs, I hope that that helps. All righty. All right, we have air signs next. And for your self-care this month, it actually says this month, um, priorities. And so the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. Make sure your schedule reflects the life you want. Does your schedule look like the kind of life you want to live? That's a good one. That's a good one, air signs. Um, all right, this is all about your self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So you have these gifts, they benefit others, but maybe the self-esteem is lacking. Maybe thinking that, what do I have? What gifts do I have? How can I offer things to this world, etc.? So take some time to kind of think about the quality of life, like what is it that you want your life to look like? Are you chasing your dreams? Are you fulfilling your own cup? Are you um, telling yourself you're enough and validating yourself without needing validation from others? It looks like the thing that we're working on here is Ace of Pentacles upside down. So the Ace of Pentacles is more about seeing the um, not seeing, not seeing the opportunities. So there's like a lack of progress because we're not seeing what's right in front of us. It's like opportunities are always in front of us, but if we are thinking that, or let's just say our 
frequency, our vibration is low because our self-esteem is low, well, then we're not going to see those opportunities, even though they're right in front of us. So this is about really turning that upside down and start thinking about the opportunities that you deserve. Start thinking about um, all these opportunities that are going to bring you closer towards that life that you want to live. So again, the quality of your life is determined by how you spend your time. What about keeping a mm, journal or something where you can write down how you spend your time throughout the day? Take a look and do kind of an inventory of what feels draining, what feels like it's not really going somewhere, what feels like it's a distraction from, from the truth of it all, right? From growth is not easy. Growth is, is difficult, but it's worth it. And sometimes we get stuck in the cycle of I can't move forward. Um, and we let the self-talk, the ego talk, the ego chatter kind of keep us there. So this is more about imagining where it is you want to go how do you want your day-to-day -to, -day to be? Do you want to love your life? And then if so, start looking for those opportunities. Start looking for the signs that are showing you that you're on the right direction. All right, self-esteem. And then last thing that I'm getting here is just really tune in to yourself to kind of figure out what it is that you um, have the, like a longing for, a purpose, a calling, and, and check in with yourself. Tune in, see what it is that you're imagining, that you're thinking about, and just start there. There's always a starting point, and then after that, it's just baby steps, um, letting the the air, the wind, the clouds blow in the direction of um, where it is that you want to go, right? And then following those signs. So let's flip this Ace of Pentacle into an opportunity and work on our self-esteem. We don't need a validation to prove that we are worth it, that prove that we are lovable. Um and just start picturing the kind of life you want to live. Schedule it, especially for this month since it's self-love month. Um, how would you like it to look? And plan it. All right. Thanks, Air Signs. I will see you guys later. Last but not least, we have the water signs. So let's start off with the healing energy for this month for self-love, and it is power. The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Let me say that again. The ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is. Own your power. So this is kind of like setting boundaries. Um, setting boundaries, we talked about this um, the other day. And we were talking about how setting boundaries is pretty much just being in your authentic self, just really understanding what it is you want, what it is you don't want, and then having a barrier and uh, communicating that so that others understand. So it's about owning your power. It's about having full control of yourself, full control of your emotions. Um, water signs, come on. You guys are very emotional. So let's start there. Let's start to have that power to control our emotions. It's all about, again, power. It's it's energy and it can be transmuted in several ways. I mean, water is water, but you can have calm water, you can have crazy water, or you can have uh, something in the middle, right? You, It's just the way that the energy is being transformed. So in this case, it's about... How do we utilize this energy of emotion and focus on what it is that we're trying to achieve, the power of whatever that is? Um, ultimately, ultimately, the power is within us. So therefore, it's about reaching deep within um, the waters and, you know, standing in your power. 
knowing who you are, what it is that you want, um, and making that happen. Because again, it's the frequency. Now, as for the lesson, it is judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So this is about reaching into our toolbox and reaching out for that compassionate tool, that empathy tool, the understanding that everyone is really just a mirror of us and looking at their path or their triggers, not as your own, but as theirs. And they are there to just mirror deeper things within yourself that maybe still need some healing. So it's not really sitting there judging their behavior, judging their issues. It's really about looking at that with compassion and seeing whatever mirror is triggering you. At the end of the day, this is all about us and everybody just being that reflection of us, um, just like the water. So here we have the temperance upside down. So this is saying that there's something out of balance. There's something that's needing more balancing of. So whether that's work life balance, work home life balance, whether that's the mental and, uh, you know, the thoughts going on or the emotions or the spiritual side. So we have um, maybe an imbalance there. There could be an imbalance of taking too much action versus resting and maybe needing something in the middle. So this is just about turning that upside down and getting some balance back into our lives. So the judgment that we look in others is really just the judgment reflecting back on what we're thinking about ourselves. So take that as a learning opportunity. Take that as a way to help you get in balance um, and in alignment. And then remember that you have that power within yourself to really channel whatever it is, whether it's the emotions that maybe need a way to express themselves and you're not quite sure how, um, whether it is, I'm not going to say suppressing the emotion and then using it. I'm saying more of like changing it, transmuting it. Uh, evolving it into something of a lesson so that it's helping you versus hindering you. So water, anything else uh, for self-love, self-love, um, love yourself a little bit more than normal. Um, it's okay to feel, it's okay to have certain emotions, but at the same time, don't hold on to them because everything is cyclical. And just like this temperance card, um, it's just going to go back and forth back and forth. So just everything in balance. Um, I think that's it for water and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.